Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Hartman from Mr. Sawgrass Innovation Technology class, and if you're watching this video, you probably want to know more about 3D printing. So today I'm going to be showing you the process that we use to make a 3D print and print it out. Okay, so here I'm using the web-based program Tinkercad to design a 3D version of the Washburn School logo. Um, my strategy here is to use geometric shapes to create a cool design. So this is the 3D printer. Uh, here is the first filament bay where the filament we use to print things is stored. Uh, it's white as you can see. We use it to print everything with a layer by layer approach. And uh, in a little bit, I'm going to open the second filament bay, which is where we store the dissolvable cornstarch filament that we use to make supports. It's dissolvable so that when we put 3D print in the water, the supports dissolve away without breaking them off with a chance of breaking the print. So um, this printer is really handy because in order to remove the prints, normally you have to break them off, but with this printer, um, you can either flex the build plate, which helps it loosen, or the print will just come right off because of that powder coated build plate. So this printer also has a secondary extruder, which can extrude in a dissolvable filament. Um, and we use that dissolvable filament for um, supports, and supports help the printer make the print without any like overhangs that just fall over and those supports dissolve in water and that's what's also really nice. So you can see um, we let it soak in water and we did some final cleaning up and now there are no longer those craggly supports that you saw before and the printer looks all sweet and nice. So this is the failed print that had a slight layer shift which all that means is that the printer slightly miscalculated where it was so the whole print shifted slightly to the right from where it was originally. Just to show you again, this is our final result. Thanks so much for watching the video and I hope you learned something new.